Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. I actually tried to vlog last week. Um, I started on Thursday and I hated every single clip that I got. I don't know what was going on, but it was just not <laughs> connecting. I was like, I, it was bad. It was bad. So we're starting over. We're trying again. Today is Monday, November 21st. It's actually the week of Thanksgiving, so we only have to go to work for three days and I'm so excited. We have someone new starting at work today, so it's actually been kind of chaotic going to work because we have three new people besides me and Rachel joining our team and they've each been starting at like a different week. So I've been working with them and like training them basically on how we like to do things and how to actually do things in our uh, team in our industry and the guy starting today we've worked with before on the pilot that we did over the summer but on this show we're giving him different tasks um and I don't think he's had to do those before so like we know him but I'm still gonna have to sit there and train him which I know is part of being a supervisor <laughs> but um I'm not used to it I'm like oh I can't really get done like what I need to get done when I'm supervising other people I need to learn the different um different ways to focus on my tasks and what my team is doing. We're learning. We're learning. I'm wearing this cutie periwinkle little um, sweater that I got from my newly. I have my newly on the ground right there. I will show you um, what I got probably after work or whatever, but there's some cute stuff and I actually really like this sweater. Anyway, let's go to work. Let's get the day started. Um, I realized that I, oh my HelloFresh is coming today, yep, they always text me about it. I realized this morning that um, I was using my garbage disposal and it was making a terrible sound and I think I got a measuring spoon trapped in there. This is the second time that's happened. I know that it's happening again because it's making the same terrible sound. Um, and I know that the, the garbage disposal is literally grinding up a, a plastic half teaspoon um, measuring spoons so I don't know why I keep doing that it's not my fault actually because if it goes down the sink and I don't know that it's there what am I supposed to do <laughs> so that's something that I have to deal with after work um not right now definitely not right now oh I'm gonna bring um my mini white Christmas tree to work <laughs> I had this in my bathroom last year and I'm gonna put it on my desk this year. I think it'll be cute and fun and I hope no one comments on it. It's not Thanksgiving yet but we're almost there. Almost there. But I'm gonna head out and <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later in the day. I got it out. So anyway I'm home from work. My contacts were murdering me so I have my glasses on. My HelloFresh has arrived. Um, this week I have Barbecue ranch chicken flatbreads, yum. And this is what I'm gonna make right now. It's a lemony charred pea and asparagus risotto. Wow, so green, so many vegetables. Um, yeah, I'm very hungry. Hi guys, happy Tuesday. I'm going to work again. Um, <laughs> you know, it's only a three day week and I'm like struggling to leave the house, but it's okay. It's gonna be fine. I'm wearing this cute little jacket. It's like a cropped plaid jacket from Bohm. B-O-H-M-E. It's literally my favorite store right now. I just made a really big order <laughs> and um, I'm gonna be wearing this stuff throughout the week and throughout my life. So, um, love this store, love this jacket. We stand. I, sorry, that was cringy. I don't, I don't think my brain is working yet. I'm gonna listen to Rina Sawayama. I'm seeing her in concert tomorrow and I'm so excited. Um, and I'm gonna listen to her uh, until the concert, so. Yeah, go to work, have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. Hi, I decorated for Christmas. Do you like it? We have Miss Tree looking gorge. Um, I put all of my mini Squishmallows on and we have a, a penguin sitting underneath. So that's very on brand. Something for Vlogmas, um, my advent calendar 
will help decorate the tree. We'll, we'll get to that another time. I'm not going to give it away yet. And I had an extra string of lights, so I put it up on my bookshelf. And I made sure all of my Christmas penguins are on display because I have a lot of them, so. Oh, and one more thing in the bathroom is really important. I got this little penguin, like, tree thing at uh, Home Goods or TJ Maxx, one of those. It was so cute, I just instantly bought it and didn't think twice. So, that's my bathroom decor, including a little battery-operated um, scary skeleton hand Halloween candlestick. But I like the vibe, so I'm keeping it for Christmas. And this ghost. <laughs> so that's the update. I'm sitting here, um, well, to, to be honest with you, I just was on TikTok for two hours. I, I couldn't stop. I don't know. I wanted to lay down on my couch and do nothing. And now I'm going to um, put this show on that I have been watching lately. It's 18.99 on Netflix, and it's really good. It's only eight episodes. It's so mysterious. It's about a ship. The ship comes across another ship that has been abandoned and like everyone on the ship is dead and like there's like they don't know what happened to the ship. But then weird things start happening to the ship that everyone's on. And um, I'm trying to figure out what's happening. I just started episode six and so far I just have questions and questions and questions and no answers. So here's hoping I get some answers tonight. Um, but I really like this show. If you've watched it, let me know. And cheers to that. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. It is the last day of the week, of the work week at least. And tomorrow's Thanksgiving and I'm really excited. Before I go to work, I wanted to show you what's in my new leaf for this week. Not this week, this month rather. I keep them for a month. Um, so yeah, it's a clothing rental subscription service. I've talked about it multiple times. I'm not gonna talk about it anymore. Look it up if you're curious. Oh, first I guess I should say that's where this green sweater is from. It's really cropped, like really cropped and kind of boxy, but it actually, um, when I was holding it up first, when I took it out of the bag, I was like, oh, this is like so boxy and weird. Um, but it act, like, it looks cute on. And on the website, it's like a sweater set. So it has pretty much the exact same pattern and color in like a tank top that you can wear together, but you had to rent those separately and I'm not gonna like spend two items on like the matching set. So I'm just wearing it with this like floral um, tank top instead. And yeah, I can button it if I want. I love wearing green with my red hair. Sometimes, I've noticed when I'm shopping now, I pull out a red top or an orange top and I'm like, oh no, I don't, <laughs> like, I can probably wear it, but I just, it would be too much maybe, but greens, I love blues, purples, so I'm like really going towards those more. I think like it, it just looks better with the red hair. Yeah, I have this sweater that I wore on Monday that I already showed you. I got this dress. It's from the brand Find Me Now. Never heard of it. But it's a cute little um, baby doll dress. Just short sleeves with these yellow flowers on it. I thought this would be really cute to pair with like over the knee boots. or some sort of tall boot and a jacket and do like a fall dress moment. I haven't tried it on yet so I'm not sure how it fits but it looks like um, sometimes when you're renting from Newly, you know people have worn these items before because they're rentals and they dry clean them in between each rental so it's not like gross or anything but you can just tell sometimes if an item has been rented more than another item you can tell like if you wash something so many times it's not the same as when it was new, and that's kind of the vibe I'm getting from this one. I feel like it's it's had its day in the sun, and now I have it, and it's like the pattern is still cute. Um, but again, I'm not gonna know until I try it on. But something about it just seems like shrunken, like it's been washed too many times. Next, I have a sweater vest, and I, <laughs> when this trend first started coming out, I did not 
get on board. I did not know how I would feel about sweater vests. But now I think they're kind of cute. And if you style it with a collared shirt underneath, like I have a shirt that I have in mind um, that I want to put under this and then just put this sweater vest on top. They didn't have a ton of options on Newly um, that were available in my size to choose from, but I just got this like black one but you probably can't even see much about it. And mine is brand new. You know what I love? When I get the brand new items, the new arrivals, we love it. I love being the first to have something. Um, it's from Anthropology, So we'll see how that goes. This next one, I truly am not sure if I'm gonna get around to wearing it. I thought it was a bit of a different vibe when I first saw it on the website. Is this, I mean, I love the color, this like, maroon burgundy long dress it is actually quite long it's supposed to be a midi dress but it's pretty much reaching the ground and i thought it'd be more of a casual sweater dress material but it's it's giving formal and this like v actually goes down pretty low and then there's more cutouts beneath it so i'm just like <laughs> I don't know what event this dress was designed for. I don't know where I would wear this. It's just different than I thought it would be. Um, but we'll try it on and see what happens. And again, it's brand new. Um, this is from Free People, but it's from Aster, the label, which is a brand that I actually like a lot. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know about that. And then the last thing is a puffer coat. Um, I'm gonna be that California girl that complains about the weather for a few minutes, so skip if you want. But it gets chilly in the mornings and at night. And when I leave my house to go to work, it's cold in the morning. When I leave my office to come back home, it's cold at night. So I sometimes wanna wear a coat. That's just how it is. Today I'm wearing this like really thick sweater, so I'll be fine. But um, other days I wanna wear a coat and i thought this one was so cute i love the color of it it's from urban outfitters and i'm surprised because the quality feels like so good it's a puffer coat but it's not one of those puffer coats that makes you feel like a marshmallow and you're just like puffing around and you can hear it squeaking down the hall you know <laughs> it's a puffer coat that it feels like soft and compact but I feel like it would keep you warm and inside it's like fleece. On a chillier day, I'll be wearing this. Or even if it rains, we got the hood. We had a bit of a rainy season um, last month. But I think that got rid of all the rain in the sky, so it probably won't rain anymore in California. And that was everything in my new lease. I hope you guys enjoy um, seeing what I get when I show you in a vlog. I think it's fun. I like watching when other people rent newly and they show it in their vlog. I'm like, oh. What did you rent this month? It's just fun to rent things and not feel so committed to spending your money and buying them. Okay, now I'm gonna go to work for the last day of the week. Woohoo! And um, talk to you guys after that. It is time to go see Rina Sawayama. I'm so excited. I'm going alone because <laughs> no one even listens to Rina Sawayama except me. And this is actually my second time seeing her this year um i saw her earlier this year and then she put out her new album and then she's doing another tour for this album and i'm like okay what a lucky girl me to see rena twice in one year it's at the hollywood palladium and i went there actually a few weeks ago to see adam lambert and i really liked the venue so i'm excited to see how they do the show in this venue the venue i saw her in the first time, like, the sound design wasn't good. It was, like, it's not her fault, but it's, like, the venue. It just didn't sound good. So I was a little disappointed. Um, but I'm hoping it's better tonight. So we will see, and I'll put some clips in right here.
nachos so that's good the show was obviously amazing um rena is a queen the costumes were amazing the dancing was amazing the sound was amazing the venue knew how to mix their sound so that's great her voice sounded great it was really really good the only unfortunate thing was about halfway through she was about to sing send my love to john which is a very like sad song is just her and her um guitar player and she did this whole speech beforehand of like it was really sweet like not me almost crying but she was like you know it took me a lot to write this album most of her fan base is queer i would say i mean i'm an ally so let's go and she was talking about the you know the shooting that happened in the nightclub which of course this always seems to happen but she's like you know this is a safe space for everybody and everyone like deserves an apology and sometimes you're never gonna get that apology for people that um don't accept you for who you are and that's okay and now let's sing this song i was like oh my god this is emotional and then people started fainting in the crowd and it was it was a sold out show it was packed it was hot in there and people started fainting and everyone was like oh, rena so rena stopped singing which was great I was like, can we get security there, like, to check people out? They got them out of the crowd, which getting them out of, like, a sold-out crowd is really hard, but they, they got them out of the crowd, and then she started the song again, and then someone literally right behind me also passed out and, like, fell to the ground. It was so scary. Um, and again, people were like, Rena, stop, like, stop the track, so she stopped again. I'm just like, this is so, like, I understand. Damn, like it's hot in here in my head I'm like am I gonna pass out do I need to pass out too so she stopped the show for a little bit um went backstage and she was like telling security to pass waters back so they um definitely could have given more water but I understand um <laughs> it was it was very few bottles that were passed back I'm like I feel like they maybe should have been more prepared um but yeah I think I saw a total of like three or four people just like pass out in the crowd um which is so scary so so scary but Rena handled it really well so then once she took her time off stage it was maybe like 20 minutes um just to like give time for the water to make it to the crowd and then she came back um and she went into more like dancey songs I always look at set lists before I go to shows just to see what they're gonna play and she definitely I think she took out three songs so that's a bummer that I mean obviously people's health and safety comes first but of course it's a bummer that didn't get to hear like some of the songs from her album but she did take out like the slower ballad songs which I can sing in my car anytime so you know she didn't take out the dancey amazing songs from the set list so she she made the right choices she came back on stage in a sparkly up and she was like yeah we're just gonna like dance for the rest of the time and I'm like absolutely let's do that my feet are killing me I wore some like high-heeled booties so I could be taller <laughs> and see above the crowd and gosh do my feet hurt? And I'm gonna sit here and eat these nachos, which are, wow, just hitting the spot. 
so well. Probably watch TV and go to bed. And it's a four-day weekend. Mm. And I hope you like my uh, Papa Roach shirt. It's, at the same time, the ugliest and the best thing that I own. So I hope you like it. Hi guys, happy Thanksgiving. I hope you, well it's over by now, I hope you had a lovely day uh, with your family, with your friends, with yourself, doesn't matter. All plans that I had for a cute like sweater Thanksgiving outfit are out the window. It's so hot outside, <laughs> it's in the 70s. Uh, so we're wearing a cute little dress instead and I thought that was cute. I have spent the day, I mean to be fair, I like showered, had breakfast, watched the Bachelor in Paradise finale, uh, read some of my book, and then I got to work on my sweet potato casserole that I'm bringing to my friend's house today. Oh, there's the reveal. I made it vegan because my friend is vegan and I don't want to like show up to her house and <laughs> bring something that she can't eat. So, I mean, it's sweet potatoes. And then I added, you know, plant-based butter and almond milk, um, no eggs, nothing like that. And then just topped with pecans and like brown sugar and cinnamon in my cute little dish that I got from Home Goods, I think. It literally came out of the oven a few minutes ago, so I'm just um, resting it before I transport it. I called an Uber to take me to my friend's house because there's gonna be a lot of wine and I, I just wanna keep drinking a lot of wine. Make sure, oh yeah. Oh, I have 11 minutes, I have 11 minutes. Okay, plenty of time. So I'm not going to drive, but I'm like, how do I bring a casserole dish of sweet potatoes in my Uber when it's still hot? Um, so that'll be fun to figure out, but I'm sure it'll be fine. So I'm excited to go eat some yummy food with my friends. Obviously it's a little sad that I can't be with my family on Thanksgiving. Last year was like really hitting hard. It was my first Thanksgiving ever without my family. Um, and I'm going to the same friend's house this year so I guess now we have our own little tradition and I'm like so honored that they invite me to be a part of their friend Thanksgiving so I love it and I'm ready to drink a lot of wine <laughs> and eat a lot of food good morning it is Saturday um hi <laughs> well yesterday was a long day we jumped around to a bunch of different breweries and we went to the truly lounge downtown and we went to karaoke and we went to a 2000s dance night and it was we were going all over the place okay and it was really really fun um didn't do any black friday shopping but now it's the next day and i ordered some breakfast because i have no food in my house so i got this breakfast burrito which doesn't look good but i'm sure inside it will be very tasty and some hash browns truly love a four-day weekend it's only saturday we have today and we have tomorrow ah oh, i just love it <laughs> so um i'm going to end the vlog here though i want to edit it and try to get it up because Vlogmas starts next week, which is so crazy. Um, and I, I gotta get prepared for that. So we're gonna end this vlog here. I hope you guys liked it. Give it a thumbs up, leave some comments, and make sure you're subscribed. And I will see you guys on December 2nd, when you will be watching the December 1st vlog for the first day of Vlogmas. See you then. Bye.